Land is a specialty item. If you don't have any experience at land, your experience is like mine. You drive by and you look at it. Well, all the land looks the same when you look at it. All right. You don't want to buy a property, meaning land, unless there's a survey involved. Ted, what is your opinion on the buy and hold strategy? Okay, there's nothing wrong with buy and hold. Um, your grandfather did it, your father did it. He, your dad and mom bought a property and they held it. Let's say they paid $100,000 and now it's 30 years later, it's worth $400,000. Uh, well, they didn't suddenly profit 400000 Inflation went up, 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 up. And that $100,000 house is now has a value of 400000 Okay, so that's buy and hold. And yes, they do, will have 400000 if they sell it. All right, that's a long process of waiting 30 years. And they just waited while inflation brought the value up. If you're in the profit business, you can be altogether different than that. All right, in the profit business, what you want to do is you want to buy... And then if the property, property does not move up incrementally, inch by inch by inch. It does over 30 years, but there are times when the profit will jump 20 or 30 to 50%, depending on what's going on with the market conditions. All right, so I happen to be an advocate. Let's buy at the best price we can, and then let's sell it at the best price we can, okay? I'm not gonna hold on for 30 years. I might have to hold on for some years, but when the market does go up, I'm gonna take advantage of that. All right, so the people that know and are willing to buy a property and sell it within 10 years time, not wait for 30 years, might have the same amount of profit and that property. For example, I mentioned that your mom and dad, it started out 100,000, it ended up at 400,000. Someone else might buy that same property and they buy it and 10 years later, it's worth 400,000. Now, I'd, if that was me, I would sell it right then and start over again. So everybody has a different uh, viewpoint on that. I'm in the tax defaulted business. Why am I in that business? Because I can buy properties for 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar. And then I can sell them at something above that. Meaning if I can buy for 30 cents on the dollar and I can sell it for 50 cents on the dollar, I'm in, I'm out, and I made a profit. I can go back and do it again. The world, my world is the whole United States is a business of abundance. I can go to any one of 5,000 auctions this year and buy only if I want to buy 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar, then I can, knowing that I can sell it for 50 or 60 cents on the dollar, I'm not going to wait for appreciation. I don't know what's going to happen to the market. Yes, I think the market will appreciate over years, but I'm not like mom and dad. They were buying a house to live in. They needed a place that had good schools. They wanted to make sure you, you were brought up the proper way, so they're going to wait 30 years later, they want to sell the property. Okay, I want to buy it. I want to make a profit now or as soon as possible. You don't want to buy a property, meaning land, unless there's a survey involved. How are you going to know what you bought if it doesn't have a survey? All right, land involves many things. Does it have water? Does it have power? Does it have drainage? Is it subdivided? What kind of land is there? For example, land, I mean, is the soil sufficient to do row crops? In other words, strawberries and, and uh, beans and things like that? Or is it the land only good for grazing? Or is the land, what is it good for? Okay, this is all different pricing. So first of all, you're gonna start with that survey. Then you're gonna start to know what that, what that land is. Now, if you're gonna start uh, getting small pieces of land or large pieces of land and subdividing them, that's a skill in itself to do the subdivision. So I would be awful careful. Now I've got great stories of subdividing maybe 12 lots into two lots. But when you start taking large pieces of land, you're gonna to have to think about putting in roads and sewers and electrical and, and all kinds of things. Well, what if the county hasn't brought the water all the way to that land? What if the water is 10 miles away or the power is 20 miles away? How are you gonna get it there? Who's gonna pay for all that? So I would not get too involved in land unless I had a very qualified land broker helping me do that job. So there's well over 5,000 tax defaulted auctions every year. And you can find out how many properties they have, when they're available, when the auction's gonna take place, and what the pricing is. All you have to do is go right below me, it's absolutely free.